Biodiversity is not decreasing. There's a tendency not to examine faulty premises that lead to desirable conclusions. Biodiversity is one of these. Diminishing biodiversity is cited in arguments about global warming, preserving habitat, and reducing the use of agricultural chemicals. Now, I'm a tree hugger. I have seen firsthand the wanton destruction of rainforest in the Amazon. I've seen mountaintop removal in West Virginia and the ugly slag heaps in eastern U Ukraine and eastern France. I'm a lifelong bicyclist. I gave up polluting cars 14 years ago, and we recycle. I believe strongly in keeping wildlife populations up in order to preserve healthy gene pools. So now that I've thumped my chest, signaled my virtue, let me show you my arithmetic to the effect that vanishing biodiversity is a bogus argument. Some environmentalists claim that we're in the middle of a sixth great extinction. Just as a reminder, the previous five came 445, 252, 201, uh, 374, and 66 million years ago. Uh, they occurred as a result of massive amounts of ash and carbon dioxide entering the air as a result of volcanic activity. The last one apparently triggered by a meteor in the Gulf of Mexico. Each one wiped out a large percentage of the extant species, an estimate of 90% for the worst of them. And if we experience a sixth, it would be triggered by the Yellowstone caldera or Vesuvius or something like that. Because even if we could dig up and burn all the fossil fuels remaining on Earth, it wouldn't become close to enough to match those extinctions. But that begs the question, are we in any way in a period of extinctions? Let's look at the numbers. The keepers of the Red Book, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, counts 1,730,725 wild plant and animal species. This is also the organization that tracks extinctions. That list includes 842. So dividing it out, they name 0.0487% as many extinctions as species, a bit fewer than one in 2000. Not that terrible. But the lists aren't even comparable. The 842 include, and I quote, species, subspecies, and varieties, stocks, and subpopulations that went extinct. Their list of spa species is just that, species. Now, to judge how quickly things are going extinct, we need a time frame. The IUCN list goes back a long time, including aurochs and dodos that went extinct in the 17th century, close to 400 years ago. So let's figure again. Over 400 years, 842 things went extinct. With the generous assumption that half of those things were full-fledged species, it works out to a little bit over one species per year. That doesn't look like a vast extinction. But let's look at the other side of the equation. New species. We can identify the common ancestors of groups of living organisms. Darwin's finches in the Galapagos Islands are a good example. The present 15 species evolved from a single species two million years ago. Well, how fast was that evolution? Those finches diversified at a rate of 0.00135% per year. Put another way, for every species of finch last year, 
there are 1.0000135 species this year. That's a small number, but raise that number to the two millionth power, and we find that after two million years, there are 15 species. The human rate of evolution is a bit lower. 0.000115% per year. 10 species over 2 million years, and 9 of them extinct. The oscillant family of New World cats evolved at a still lower rate, 0.000088% per year. So that's 9 species evolving over two and a half million years, of which eight are still around. Ocelots are not as bloodthirsty as humans. So the average of these three numbers for finches, people, and ocelots is 0.000113% of new species per year. Not a very big number, but assuming that the whole inventory of 1.7 million species evolves at that rate, we would get almost two new species per year. So that's twice as many new species evolving as are going extinct. Of course, you can't name them because you can't say when in time a new species is really a species. But biodiversity is probably expanding, not shrinking. As it has expanded, through the three and a half billion years of life on Earth. I started this investigation by framing a simple question for the doomsayers. When they say, animals are going extinct at a rapid clip, I asked them to name a recent extinction. Unless they're familiar with the IUCN Red Book, they'll usually pick something from years ago, the passenger penguin or the dodo. The fact is there have not been any marquee extinctions over our lifetime. My take home point is that the desirability of a proposition such as this one about extinctions does not validate all arguments in its favor. The fact that we all favor conservation doesn't validate the claim that biodiversity is under threat. Logicians call this the moralistic fallacy. The world is as you think it should be, morally thinking, morally speaking. We have to teach ourselves to see the world as it is and to argue from valid premises. There are lots of good arguments for conservation, protecting endangered species and the like. John Muir, Teddy Roosevelt, and Gifford Pinchot made them. But vanishing biodiversity is simply not one of them.